So the topic that I chose to present on was F.C. Mueller Lyre and how he discovered the Mueller Lyre illusion in 1889. Background information is that Mueller Lyer was a German psychologist and sociologist who studied at the universities of Berlin, Vienna, Paris, and London. Mueller Lyer opened his own private practice in 1888 in Munich, and in 1889 he described and published a perceptual illusion, now known as the Mueller Lyer illusion, in a physiology journal. The illusion involves a central aspect of a simple line image. For example, the length, straightness, straightness, or parallelism of a line and how it could appear distorted in comparison to the rest of the image. The illusion can be easily demonstrated by looking at three horizontal lines, one with outward wings, one with inward wings, and a straight line with no wings. The illusion is that the line with the outward wings looks longer than the line with the inward wings, while the line with no wings looks even smaller than that. However, all three of these lines are the exact same length. The two most known explanations that aim to describe how the mueller lyer illusion work are known as misapplied size constancy scaling and conflicting cues. So misapplied size constancy scaling, as described by Richard Gregory in 1997, explains that the arrowheads on the lines engage with the part of the visual system that deals with depth cues in retinal images and leads to the line with the outward wings to be perceived as longer because it's being processed as though it is further away. And then conflicting cues as described by R. H. Day in 1989 says that the wings are perceived as being part of the overall size and shape of the line which is why the line with the outward wings looks longer so the relevance to the mueller liar illusion is that it explains the fact that perception is not perfect and that even knowing about an illusion does not change your perception